Hey, it's your girl Siani Shanea, and I'm back with another video. Okay, so I'm kind of folding clothes in a midst of folding clothes. So I decided to kill two birds with one stone, fold clothes, and make a video. So today I wanted to have a little story time <laughs> because I think it's funny. So today I'm going to talk about how I was this close <laughs> to stripping last year. Yes, people. I was about to strip. So, it all started <laughs> in uh, the beginning of 2017. So, I had a good job or whatever. You know, working in a retail store was making a good amount of money. But I kept beefing with one of the fucking managers. So, I was like, okay, Siani, you need to find something and find something fast. Because... Beefing with the manager, either you're going to get fired or quit, and you need something else to lean on. And then, like, the distance itself was killing me. Like, I was working at 9 a.m., had to be there, had to be up around 6.30, 7 o'clock, just to get there at 9. Um, so, fast forward to April, I started working at UPS. I decided to do UPS because it was at night. It was a very set schedule you know work every night except for sundays and fridays so fridays and sundays i had off and i would work every night from 11 to whenever i was done sometimes i get out as late as 6 a.m but i i didn't mind but then i did start minding because working overnight is crazy i felt like all i did was work and sleep and i like to do stuff i like to go to the gym i like to hang out i like to just chill relax i like to spend time with my nephews but i wasn't doing any of that like i literally would come in from work take a shower wake up around like one two o'clock every day eat get back in the bed relax before work go to sleep before work wake up go to work and do the same thing all over again on my days off i was like i'm fucking tired i'm gonna just lay around all day so yeah then on top of that, the money was not good. Like, I would get paid Friday and be broke Sunday. Like, it, it was just a mess. Like, it was really a mess. So, one day, I'm sitting with my friend, <laughs> who will not be named. <laughs> and um, I'm just like, bruh, something has to give. Like, either I'm about to start stripping or selling drugs or something. And I, I had a boyfriend at this time. So, I was talking to my boyfriend as well. I'm like, yo, like the money is too slow like I'm really getting frustrated like I like what would you rather me do strip or sell drugs because that's where it's about to come to he like uh I don't know I know for sure for sure I don't want you to sell drugs though but I don't know if I want you to strip either I'm like listen I told him where I was going to strip it and he like maybe maybe but I know I have to be in there I'm like listen I don't care you can be in there I just need to start getting some faster money but um Fast forward, I'm sitting downstairs with my friend one day, and I'm like, yo, I look on the website. I'm not going to say the strip club's name either. I just look on the website, and I see that they have, like, applications on the freaking website. So, I, you know, apply, <laughs> and they ask, do you want to be a bottle girl or a dancer? I f put for both, because at this point, I, I was, I was ready for whatever, like, I just was tired of not having money not having enough money so you know at the end they asked for a face picture and then a lingerie or a bikini picture so I didn't have any lingerie pictures in my phone so I'm like I do have bikini pictures let me post it let me send it so I did and never told anybody they I honestly did call me back but <laughs> I just never went through with it like I don't know why I just never went through with it and yeah I just I I was I was so down to be a stripper like I was really down but then like I had found a nice job and I'm like you know what let me not because I talked to like a lot of people about it. I talked to my mom about it my mom just my mom was like do whatever you feel like you need to do but 
if you're stripping, I'm coming down there. <laughs> like everybody pretty much had the same response. Like if you do do this, I will be there. And I'm like, okay, like I don't want my mom to see me swinging on the pole, but me and my mom have the relationship where I can literally talk to her about anything, like literally anything. So I came to her like, I'm either about to start selling drugs or strip because at the same time I was helping her and you know, my income slowing down or stopping means she's not getting the help that she needs and it's putting her in a bind and it's putting me in a bind as well. So she's like, yeah, I understand, but you know, just, just wait it out. See, you know, if you can find like a real job first and then if push comes to shove, you know, you can do it. I, I really don't want you to, but I understand why you would do it. And, um, yeah, so that <laughs> is my stripper story. But, um, stay tuned. I will be doing more things. Um, I know I have one video in mind that I really want to do next. And it's going to be, um, a reaction video. Not a reaction video like y'all think, but y'all going to see what it is. And I, I feel like it's going to be funny because... I know my reaction is going to be crazy, but, um, yeah. But yeah, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, loves.